Our next guest star is in the popular television series The Big Bang Theory, which could be seen Monday nights right here on CBS. Please welcome Kaylee Cuoco, ladies and gentlemen. How do you like working at CBS? Good? Yeah, I love CBS. Mm -hmm. Show yes. doing, show yes. doing very well, I understand? Yes, Big great. A lot of fun for you? It's fun, yeah. yeah. Good. Good. Glad to have you with us. Thank you. Uh, and, and obviously the show's in California, but I don't think you're working now, are you? No, we're on hiatus. Uh, so did you have to come from California? I almost didn't make it here, Dave. Oh, is that right? No, I didn't make I almost, I had the craziest plane flight coming here. Can I tell you? You went over Pearl Harbor? I did. <laughs> On the seventh. Uh, okay, so listen to this. So I get to the airport and I'm like so excited to come here and my plane flight's on time, everything's great. So I'm waiting to get on and I give the lady my ticket and I'm going through, you know, like the big hallway. And oh, I, the big hallway? Yeah. <laughs> to get on the cool. plane. The big hallway. You know, like the big cover. Thing. Okay, okay, it gets better, I swear. Yeah, okay. So I'm stepping on the plane and this woman comes running after me and she's like, ma'am, this plane is going to Texas. Ooh. And I said, oh, I can't go to Texas. Right. I have to go to New York. Right. So, so I get off, and I'm like, you know, someone should have told me. They go, well, your plane is actually delayed two hours. Mm. So I'm like, okay. So I set up kind of camp way far away, and I'm like, well, I'm going to be here for a while, right? So I get my laptop out, my iPod. I'm sitting there, and I'm still feeling kind of funny, like the plane. I don't know. It's feeling weird. So I went to check my time, and they go, it's still two hours late. You know, don't worry about it. So I go back and sit down. I'm like all relaxed. I'm having like tea. And I hear over the loudspeaker in the entire LAX airport, Kaylee Cuoco, the plane is taking off. You have one minute to get on your flight. <laughs> I swear to God. Wow. So I'm like, I'm like, Kaylee Cuoco. Oh my God, that's me. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, right? <laughs> so I'm like, that's this poor girl. No, it's me. So I have all my junk laid out. I'm piling in. I'm crying at this point. Oh. Now I've got tears coming down because now I'm missing this horrible flight. So I start running, running. I'm running to my plane. I'm thinking, oh my God, they're going to take off. They go, are you Kaylee? I'm like, yes, I'm Kaylee. So I get on the plane, I see one empty seat, and I know it's mine. I'm hysterical. I'm hyperventilating. I'm like, I need a bag to breathe in. The lady comes over to me. This gets worse. The lady comes over, and she, the stewardess, she goes, I'm so sorry this happened to you. Are you okay? And I go, I, uh, uh, you know, I can't breathe. I'm so sorry, you know, and I'm sorry I ran in here so crazy. It must have looked like I had a bomb. <laughs> Yeah, uh, just so you guys know, you're not supposed to say uh -huh, that. Yeah. <laughs> she literally looked at me and she goes like this, ma'am, I'm going to stand up real slowly and pretend like you didn't just say that. Ooh, and ooh. I'm now oh, uh, sobbing. Yeah, I didn't yeah. mean that. I didn't mean that. Yeah. You know, and now I can't breathe and she's thinking I'm going to open my jaw. I mean, it's just terrifying. And I look over at the guy next to me and he's like this. Yeah. yeah. Just horrified. So he's trying to calm me down. He was so nice. This nice guy from Australia. He was so nice. And he says, you know, what are you doing? You know, what are you doing in New York? Because I can't breathe. I'm going on David Letterman. And he's, and he's like, wait, she's not going on David Letterman. This girl's like insane. And as I'm talking, he's asking me what I do for a living. And I swear on my life in the background, all of a sudden I hear the theme song from The Big Bang Theory. It starts playing. On the screen. Oh. I'm like, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> the whole way. It was, but I finally made oh, it. Oh, man. I know. What an ordeal. I know. Yes, but it's interesting the world that we live in when, when people who, who normally wouldn't think, but now because of that, because of what you said, and as a matter of fact, I'm going to have to pat you down. I, was... <laughs> I hope you don't mind. That story. Yeah, so, boy, oh yeah. Boy. yeah. Well, it's tough, but it's a good reminder. You got to be careful. And, and you be should careful. be careful. You know? Just don't say bomb on a plane. It's not good. They don't like it. Well, no, no, it's, no. Yes, we know. Yeah. Yes, no, yeah. <laughs> Uh, and, and what do you what do you do uh, now? Now you have some time off. I never know what the schedule is. Do you have time off or you no don't? Time have off. have a couple months so off. What do you do now for I actually, fun? What I are, ride what horses. Like? I'm an animal fanatic. You're an equestrian. Yes. You know? I kind of heard you are too. Well, I, yes, I ride yeah. horses. I wouldn't call myself an equestrian. Yeah, I call myself an equestrian. Yeah. Okay. No. yeah. I call myself a Presbyterian. You do? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not really that either. Um,
Yeah, now, where, where, do you, where, where, where do you ride? Do you... About 20 minutes near my house, and my mom and I both ride together. Oh, that's, that's great. It's so great. Yeah. So I don't ever have to go out and do anything. Is, is, it, uh, is it English? Is it Western? English jumpers, yeah. Well, see, I don't. I, I have go. two horses. <laughs> two horses, a lot of dogs. I'm like the dog whisperer. Mm -hmm. I have a million. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, uh, but, but see, with the English thing, is that there's less, from what I know of it, there's less to hang on to if there's trouble. Have you ever been tossed off a horse? Oh, yes. I had a very bad fall. Actually, when I first started riding, I was not very good. I had a horrible fall. In fact, I fractured my knee, and I was shooting eight simple rolls at the time. So I had this whole leg cast. I I fell on a Friday, and I, I was supposed to shoot on a Monday, and I had a full leg. It was awful making that phone call to the producer. That was not fun. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're nothing but bad luck. I'm telling you, <laughs> it just follows me everywhere yeah. I go. And, and did you then, as they say, get right back on the horse? Oh, well? I got right back on the horse. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, you have to. Now, when you're out there in California, can you just go, or are you riding around a little thing, or what do you? No. You, I'm at a stable at a barn, and they, there's not a lot of places you can do that anymore. I wish you could just go and ride free. And what about the median and the freeway? I mean, isn't that, <laughs> that that's wide open, more or less? Isn't I it? wonder if <laughs> it would make things easier because I'm a terrible driver, a terrible flyer, and um, I should just ride my horse to work because it's the only way I'm well, going to get there safely. Not? For heaven's sakes, would that be so bad? You ride your horse to work? Not at all. I'd love it. I would be fantastic. I wouldn't get as many tickets. It would be great. Yes, exactly. It would be great. Yeah. Uh, and, and well, that's good, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Well, listen, I'm glad you're here. I'm sorry I had such difficulty. No, I'm But you so really brought it on yourself. I really <laughs> <laughs> uh, It's anyway the Big Bang Theory. Monday nights right here on CBS. Kaylee Cuoco. Thank you very Thank much, you Kaylee. So nice to see you. Thank you. We'll be right back with Wild Sweet Orange, everybody.